If anybody from Sonny's Barbecue is listening, he wants to put the wrap on that stuff today. So let us know. Chris Reedy, Sonny's Ribs. He's got a few that are healing right now, but the best ribs in the house. So burnout's complete for Keith Haney and Steve Jackson from Evansville, Georgia. Killing time racing on board there with Holly EFI. For Keith Haney, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, the home of the car dealer at 44 years of age. And he has now partnership in nine dealerships in the Tulsa area. And he is an awesome gentleman for sure. We want to thank Brendan Pez, Kimmel and Pez, um, crew there taking care of business under the hood and taking care of the wheelie bars right now. That's Brendan Pez behind the car. So Haney and Jackson. Ball is this Stevie Fast? Ball. It is. Oh, th thanks, man. I've waited forever to do this one. Do it. Man, Stevie Fast, Jackson, Evans, Georgia got the golf cap hanging from the rearview mirror right now. Will he wear it? Will he be the guy killing time? We'll find out. Sitting at home. SEI Oil Field sponsoring him. Look at that. Little smoke coming out of the right bank of that thing. What do you think? Puff, puff, pass. Here you go, puff, puff, pass. There we go. So they pass it on. Keith Haney in the left side. I told Haney it ain't about size and numbers. It's about being the big man on campus right here. You couldn't ask for a better matchup right here if you want to be one of the guys that talk on Facebook. Haney in the left side. Jackson in the right side. The honey badger, the phone book stander. It's time to go. miles per hour says come get some man oh man keith haney i tell you what it's called gun shy is what it is you feel it and you're like not after watching one of mine have a problem just last week i'm gonna let this one go get my feeling back he ran good in the 80s yesterday right in testing yep, sure did i don't know how i remember that i got it on the radio on the way here but he did run pretty good so i would say do the smart thing car just felt like it wanted to move a lot of cars in the left lane are going left send that thing. Here's Tommy Mooney firing it up in the left lane out of Shelby, North Carolina. Your chassis builder sits down there proud as a peacock. Look at that car. Another gorgeous TM car. The number 11 qualifier. It's gone 472, 114 miles per hour, and he gets the take -off. And seven big smiles. He has nine now. He just bought two today. So all his nine dealerships today is uh, doing him good. Keith Haney, by the way, is a, a great guy, man. He really likes to build up the the battles between everyone in Pro Nitrous. Him and Cox, and Cox got the better hand down there and calls on him. But he said, hey, Rockingham's a different story. I never say never. So Keith Haney back up. It's your number and all of them. know his name but i think it's notorious or something man not a bad pass no not a bad pass we've uh you know we made some 
different uh, chassis setups this weekend to try to, you know, we can go back to our old way and go 70, you know, 75, 76, somewhere in like that. But in order to compete with these guys out here, you got to go 70 to 73. You know, maybe even into the 60s, too. But, you know, the guys did a good job. We're going up here to Q3. We're tearing down after that, and we go get them tomorrow, too. So you're going to take that trophy for the Flat Out Lakers Wars, huh? That's all in the works. <laughs> there you go. Keep your eyes. You, it. you just ain't seen it on TV yet. Keep your eyes on Keith Haney as he's going to go to try for the number one spot later tonight. So coming out next will be Switzer Dynamics Pro Nitrous, presented by Motec. Inside from Sanford, Missouri, the Jeff Pierce race car and tuned machine, 908 cubic inches, the rear bars of power. Dave Pierce, of course, the car owner, Dave's Claremore RV. Let's see what happens here as he has that new, uh, you don't even call it a hood scoop. He said, I don't even know a name for it. So if you go talk to him, maybe he'll, uh, he'll name it that. The number nine qualifier, we're going to get, who knows his name? I don't know his name. I think it's Notorious, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. 2015 tomorrow, 948 cubic inches, a rear horse of power. Let's see what the Brandon Square team has in store for us. Your number eight qualifier. So Andy had Leaf choice, he decided to go with the right hand side. I see that. Yep, yeah, yeah. Keith drove through the shake here. Chris Rainey's giving the update. As we can see the marks of the tower. Smith Body Shop sponsor, 903 cubic inches of the Fulton Power. Your number uh, alternate actually came in. Going against Keith Haney. Who knows my name? I don't know his name. That's Notorious. Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. He wants to thank all his seven dealerships as a sponsor. 948 cubic inches of rear motors of power. The Brandon Square team does the tune. Your number eight qualifier. Let's see what Haney can lay out right here. Again, Pro Extreme, Pro Extreme, we need Pro Extreme to the lanes. And who's going to move on to the semifinals of Pro Nitrous? Will it be Haney? Will it be Burnley? Moving around a little bit, look at Haney driving it like it's snowing. Top of the charge, 3D. 
Climb at 198. He's going to move on to semifinals as Burley goes 405 at 184. Notorious. Showing why it's notorious as he's moving on. Just want to give a big shout out to our new uh, puller out there, Bob Harris. That's right, it's his new job with the PDRAs. He's pulling all the cards out. We hired him to be the new water box guy. Oh. Smithville, North Carolina, the Bryant Industrial Crane, 69 Camaro, 941 cubic inches of buck racing power. Boyd Cox, of course, the crew chief out there. They call him the pumpkin, at least the car, and left the inside, a television star of this race. Going against Keith Haney, or as he wants to be called, a notorious in this machine, a broken arrow. Oklahoma, 2015 Camaro, 948 cubic inches of rear Mars of power. Brandon Square does the tuna, that's right, Schweitzer and Pez. It looks like we have a lot of Cox fans on the interweb. Motor Mania. Oh, there's somebody like Sadie. Who's going to be in the final round? Will it be Notorious or will it be the Pumpkin?